March advised by wife Bethany and their two young daughters. Our prayers go out to them, and please stay tuned for additional coverage on Channel 8 as details emerge surrounding this tragedy. Top of the morning. Morning. What's new? Nothing. Are you sure? I know, you tell me. <laughs> Your hair is normally on the uh, darker side, huh? Excuse me? <laughs> what didn't you understand about the question? You came over here to confront me for not being a natural blonde? <laughs> What'd you do last night? Why are you being such a creep? I'm being a creep? Wow. You seem a little tense over a couple of quick questions. I'm not tense. <laughs> so? Where were you last night? I was at the salon dyeing my hair. Please don't expose me. <laughs> I'm being serious. What did you do last night? I went home and I did it with my family and then came back here to work for a while. Is that okay with you? You came back here last night? Yes. Why? I just told you to work. Did something happen here last night that I'm not aware of? No, no. I just thought I saw you out downtown last night. I don't go out. Because you're, you're so innocent, right? Some people, particularly in HR, might find this to be, um, what's the word, harassment? <laughs> harassment? Wow. A feminist quick to pull out the harassment card. Shocking. If you were black, you'd say I'd be, I'd be racist too, huh? I have work to do. You didn't get it all done while you were here last night? Whatever you think you're on about me is a waste of time. So drop it. I wouldn't want you going too far down the rabbit hole, you know, because it will wear on your face.